I became a basketball trainer early in my basketball career. What happened was I was really good at dribbling the basketball and a lot of my teammates and fellow peers would ask me, you know, what drills do you do? Or what is it that I can do to become a better ball handler? And I found myself not working on my game, but rather helping other people improve their game. It got to the point one day where I said to myself, I'm gonna hang up my shoes and I'm gonna just put 110% into helping other players become great. My name is Patrick Robinson, AKA Pat The Rock. I'm a former professional basketball player and now I'm a skills trainer at the Pat The Rock Basketball Skills Academy. Finish in the paint, finish in the paint. Five, four, If I'm gonna be training these athletes, I have to be in shape myself. So I might wake up as early as 5 a.m., you know, get 30, 45 minute workout in at my you know, local gym. From there, I'll come here, open up the doors as early as 6 a.m. And, you know, we have athletes waiting, hungry to get better. When I'm on my way to the gym in the morning and I'm in the car, you know, I kind of gather my thoughts about what drills, and techniques, and training methods I want to use for the day. I'm not really a trainer that will go and study other trainers. What I do is I take the knowledge that I've learned over the years from, you know, various NBA legends, college coaches, you know, mentors, and I kind of bottle all of that up and then I put my own spin on it. Pretty much anything you see here at the Academy is from scratch, it's original. And I think that's what separates us from a lot of the other places is the uniqueness of it. But don't get it wrong, you know, I still use tons of old school methods because I'm old school. I had a lot of old school coaches, so you gonna get a good mix in here, blend it with a lot of creativity. The same intensity and enthusiasm that I had as a basketball player, you know, I bring that same intensity as a coach, as a trainer. Everything I tell my athletes to do, you know, is the same thing I did. If I used to run 25 hills, I'm going to show them how to run 25 hills. If I used to do 30 sprints, I'm going to show them how I did 30 sprints. And if they're doing layups, I'm going to show them how to do a dunk. My philosophy for the game changes over time because I'm always meeting new people. 15 years ago when I was at the park, you know, I never knew I would have a chance to sit down and talk with Alan Iverson and ask him how he did the crossover. You know, I never knew I would have a chance to sit down with Tracy McGrady and learn how he does his fadeaway jump shot. I never knew I would have a chance to sit down with NBA All-Star Steve Francis and learn how he's able to jump so high. My philosophy always changes because I'm getting new information, you know, and one of the things I always emphasize is the player with the most information goes the furthest. You know, I know that I'm blessed to do something I love to do every day. So for me, it's not really work, it's not a job. You know, it's just like going to the court and playing basketball. So when I go home at night, I'm thinking about the next day. What can I do to become better? What can I do to push the mindset of this athlete over the top? These are definitely the biggest challenges is constantly creating something new that can keep the kids and the parents excited about coming back to the academy. For me, it's a fun challenge. I look forward to being able to create a new drill or a new training station that the kids can learn how to play the game basketball at a faster rate. The rewards that I get, you know, something as simple as a kid saying, hey, you helped me get a scholarship, or hey, you gave me a place to go when I didn't have anywhere to go. You know, this is a safe place I can come to and learn the game of basketball. You know, that's what it's all about, creating an outlet, creating a lane, and, and being able to give back to the next generation. So for me, that's the most important part.